Okay, first what we're going to do is take a look at um, the energies that I have been picking up that have been interfering in your love and romance life. So whether you currently have a new love interest or you have new love that you're looking forward to establishing and moving towards, um, we're going to take a look at the karmic energies by Zodiac Sun sign or just holding that karmic energy or they have the significant placements in their birth chart that have been negatively um, impacting your love life and what is going to be their ramifications for doing so so we're going to start with Aries and then we're going to end with Pisces all right and I'm just doing this because this energy has been coming up a lot in my previous readings and this way you can be able to identify who are the culprits doing this you know um covertly or if you're already aware of this you know just to confirm for you who is negatively trying to impact your love and romance life as well as what their ramification gonna be to bring you some solace you know what i'm saying in the situation so if there is a aries individual negatively impacting your love and romance life they're trying to negatively pack your ten of cups so this is someone who doesn't want to see you truly happy this could be someone who's acting and pretending like they're so happy they're so proud of you oh my goodness they're always calling congratulating you when it's your anniversary or asking about your partner what you know watch them once the ones that's always asking about your partner what's your partner up to but this is the very individual wishing for your house and your home or your love life to you know be divided for you not to get that happily ever after um the main one you know asking you you know when are you going to marry when are you going to move on when are you going to have kids or when are y'all going to do this or when are y'all going to do that but this is the very person wishing for you not to have that so this is someone who you know you could be sharing intimate details about your relationship and your connection and this could be someone pretending to be like they're so like enthralled and enamored with your love life and you know telling you that they wish that they had a love life like you or you know letting you know oh my goodness i'm so jealous that you have this or you're so blessed and this and that yeah that's because this person wants what you have as well as they're wishing for this um not to come into fruition for you or they want to see this be destroyed so what i see um with what is going to happen to them how they're negatively going to be impacted for doing this we have the princess of swords so yeah this is just confirming that this person is very nosy this person stays in your business stay watching you stay watching your social media stay watching your love interest social media this could be someone constantly you know trying to gather information on you and your love life if you don't talk to this individual but i see what will happen to this individual is that um they will be met with accusations of being petty um immature a liar slander and gossiper their name is seemingly being brought up in situations constantly around he said she said stuff so this is someone always constantly getting into some petty bull um in regards to love and romance i see this person being breadcrumbed by whoever their love interests may be and i feel as well too that their love interest is not going to trust them um as far as they can throw them so this could be someone who is known to be like unfaithful um in a relationship as well too um or just or whoever they're with just doesn't trust them because obviously they have petty lying slandering gossiping energy around them so if, if the, whoever they're with sees them and hears them doing this to other individuals then whoever they're with or they come into contact with is going to feel some type of way about this individual and just not trust this person so they're i'm mean, just getting they're not going to have individuals who trust them okay whether romantically or platonically or other individuals people are not going to want to um share information with them or trust them and they're going to be known as you know someone who lies if you have a karmic tourist individual trying to negatively impact your love and romance like we have the ten of pentacles is what they're trying to um hamper hinder this could be someone doing negative work um speaking negatively against your potential to get married to have kids to settle down um talking negatively in regards to your lineage your bloodline um just not wanting to see you establish you know financial wealth and abundance and a happy relationship not wanting to see you have harmonious relationships and connections um with 
whoever your love interest family is so this is someone who's wishing for you to have discord and to never feel settled appreciated or accepted um, or welcomed into your love interest family life as well as negatively um, that your that your finances never um, become stable between you and your love interest um, what they will be met with in this Taurus and karmic energy is the prince of wands so i feel like this individual is going to continue to be met with lots of uh hostility anger rage um this is going to be people who end up resenting them i feel like because they're wishing negativity on your longevity of your relationships your marriage wishing for you to have divorce um or wishing for you to never be appreciated welcomed or, or received you know in your love interests family or lives and I feel like this is just going to be people who just despise and don't like this individual. So I just feel like they're going to have quarrelsome um, energy with people who they come into contact with, especially when it comes around communication, especially when it comes to their business, their finances and their stability. And if they have a relationship that they happen to be in, um, I feel like they're going to experience hostility, rage, anger, um, and it could get even um, physical. Or someone may want to get physical with this individual if they're dealing with um, in-laws or um, extended family members and, and whatnot. If you're dealing with a karmic a Gemini individual, we have the will of fortune. So this could be someone who wants to steal your destiny. This is someone who wants what you have. This is someone who would want to switch places with you. So they could be doing magic to try to, you know, um, get your man or get the life that you're supposed to have, the, the love life uh, uh, more so that, that you have. It's like they want what you have. Um, so this could be someone doing magic like that. This could also be someone just wishing on your downfall, wishing for you not to have um, good luck, good fortune, or just be blessed when it comes to ever finding love. Um, what they're going to be met with is the Prince of Cups. So for some of you, let's say by chance the individual who has interest in you they're trying to steal this person this person may come initially towards this gemini individual but i feel like it's going to be short-lived um this person is going to always be longing for something more or for someone else so they're never going to fully have their attention on this gemini energy this also could be a sense of just other relationships if it's not let's say per se the individual who has interest in you i just feel like they're going to be met with a lot of short-lived um relationships and they're always going to be looking like shoulda woulda coulda you know wish this would have took off it's like they're always gonna have like first loves or something like that like something's never gonna like get to the full potential that it could with this this prince of cups energy and i feel like the people who come in they're gonna be really good ideal like love interests and whatnot but i feel like because of this individual wanting someone else's destiny trying to do shit to fuck up other people's destinies this is gonna negatively harm them with being able to um able to being able to actually settle down and find a, a true lifelong love interest who actually loves them for who they are because they don't even love who they are they want to have someone else's life so no one's ever going to actually um want to settle down with this individual or be fulfilled or satisfied with just being with this individual they're always going to long for more or long for someone else potentially an ex for some of these individuals as well too they may have people coming in their life who always goes back to their exes if you're dealing with a karmic cancer individual who's negatively impacting your love and romance like we have the tempers energy so first for first and foremost for some of you this could be someone who is doing work okay they could be doing voodoo or doing some other type of um magic on your relationship so this may not even be an individual who you know this could just be some type of third party random ass person who is trying to keep you and your love interest separated or to call some type of separation um and discord between you and your love interest currently on behalf of someone else okay so whoever this is they have some type of invested interest either because they're getting paid to do this or because they are related to someone who um they're doing work on behalf of for others of you this could be a love interest who holds the energy of cancer themselves and they are either conjuring and doing work to get you to come back and reconcile with them or they're having someone do this work 
on their behalf so that you will come back to them essentially but they uh, what i'm seeing as well too is that they want you to be the individual who comes and initiates this and they want to keep you from um being able to fall in love with anyone else they want you to only be stuck on them and want to reconcile with them and even if they don't get back with you or want to get back with you they just still want to keep you stuck on them they could be in a whole totally different relationship or pretending like they're happy that they're you know single or whatever the fuck but they just don't want you to have a uh, love and romance in your life so this will be someone like like i said uh utilizing the services or them doing work themselves to try to manipulate and keep you from falling in love and moving on from them um what is going to be negatively impacted with this cancerian energy is the king of pentacles so i definitely feel like um their finances are going to be negatively impacted because I feel like this is someone who definitely spends a lot of time, energy, and resources either doing this work on behalf of other individuals, doing this type of shady shit, or this is someone who is utilizing the services of someone else so they're going spending money on or they're doing it themselves. Either way, the time, the money, and the resources that they're investing in this is definitely going to um, catch up to them eventually because I'm seeing with the temperance energy it's like this person has no chill so I feel like the universe is going to um, humble them by fucking up their finances now if you're dealing with a individual dealing with karmic or holding karmic Leo energy that's trying to negatively impact your love and romance life I feel this individual for some of you this could be an ex of yours so this person could just continue could be continuing to try to cause you some type of grief harm pain and setbacks in your life especially in your love life um i feel like this is someone who wants to see you hurt they want to see you cry they want to see you sad so they could continue continuously be you know j causing or generating circumstances and events in your life to to bring this about this could be someone definitely always meddling in your love and romance life talking shit about you to other individuals trying to be a third party in your situation um for others of you if this is not an ex of yours um this could just be someone who feels like you spited them and they they um feel slighted by you so they could definitely always be trying to just meddle negatively in your romance and love life talking negatively about you um they could also be trying to you know get with the people who you get or who you're with they could be trying to get with your ex or this could be someone who knows your ex wants to get back with you so they're steadily trying to um come in between that and keep that from happening what is going to negatively impact them is we have the three of pentacles so i'm definitely seeing for some of these individuals um i'm seeing that these individuals could owe money to individuals so they could owe money to banks to corporations and things of that nature um and this could be um individuals looking for them other and this could be other parties that they borrowed money from that i feel like i feel like people are looking for them so this person may be hiding or um trying to stay low key because i'm seeing that this person owes money so they could be ducking and dodging uh individuals so they don't have to pay that money up and then i'm also seeing them be called out on something so this is either them being called out on their bullshit or called out on something but whatever this is i feel like this person's going to uh whoever's holding this energy this karmic energy of leo they're going to be called out on something that maybe they they tried to lie about or some other type of situation but they're definitely going to be called out on some bullshit okay if you're dealing with a karmic virgo trying to negatively impact your relationship we got the five of pentacles um so what this person is trying to do is whether it's for you or for your partner or for both of y'all they're trying to um they're wishing or doing magic um to negatively impact your health and your wellness okay this is someone who wants you to be ill they want you to be sick um they're wishing that your finances are depleted that you are homeless that you get evicted that you you know that nobody wants to hire you um this is someone who wants you to feel outcast um and rejected this could even be someone who never wants you to find love or to move on to find love and for people to just look at you as someone who is you know like the lowest of the low and never want to deal with you so they could be smearing your name as well too but i feel like also they're doing um negative work negative magic to negatively impact your finances and your um ability to take care of yourself okay or for you and your partner to be stable um 
and have finances and whatnot so this could be what they're wishing on you or doing magic on you or whatever but i feel like um, how they're negatively going to be impacted especially for those that are in relationships i feel like their partner's going to end up actually leaving them they're going to get rejected they're going to be put out they're going to have to move and relocate for some of them they're going to have to downsize their whole lifestyle they for some of them they may have to even move back home um literally to like their hometown home or literally like home with a parent type shit but yeah i just honestly feel like whatever they were doing to try to sabotage you because that's that's definitely what it feels like there's some type of sabotaging energy that they've been intentionally trying to do towards your finances towards your health towards um you being able to feel like uh secure and being able to provide and take care of yourself or bring in a partner who sees you in this way like whether they've been smearing your name to other individuals or some shit like that i feel like this is just going to force people to move away from them i just really see a lot of these individuals they are in relationships and someone is end up going to leave them or they're going to end up being put out and they're, they're they're going to have to move on that's what i'm seeing so i feel like whatever they were doing to try to sabotage you is going to come back on them if you're dealing with a karmic libra we have the four of cups energy here so for some of you this libra is trying to get with you all so this libra could be trying to interfere and intervene in a relationship that you have so this could be someone wanting to come in and be a third party in a situation to fuck up your love life or this is someone trying to come into your life prior to someone else that they may not have interest in you but i feel this libra is coming towards you with um ulterior motives and a hidden agenda it's it's deceptive energy um that's the reason why they want to approach you is what i'm getting because it's 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 essentially so to either mess up your relationship that you are in or to block you from someone who actually has interest in you now how they're going to be met for doing this in your love life we have the five of swords so i definitely feel like they're going to be betrayed um by someone who they think has their best interest at heart so they're going to be um there's some type of setup and betrayal that they're going to experience or that they already have if you're dealing with a karmic scorpio individual um we have the nine of pentacles here so this could definitely be someone doing some type of um negative work or speaking negatively okay this could be someone speaking negatively about like your looks your confidence your self-esteem because this is someone who like wants this this could be someone doing mirror magic on you as well too because they want your looks so this could be someone who wants to be like an image replica copy of you um so this could be someone trying to steal your looks trying to steal your swag so you will notice this because you'll see this person trying to dress like you they're always asking you where you get your clothes from where'd you get those products from who do you go to to get your hair done um like they're always asking shit like that you know what i'm saying and or just very intimate details about your upkeep it's going to be a weird obsession that you're going to notice that this person has um if you know who the fuck this is but if if you don't i just feel like this is someone who's very jealous of your confidence your self-esteem your looks and this is someone who wants you not to feel so um confident i feel like because they want that for themselves so it's either because they just want what you have um they could want the particular partner that you have or they just want your love life um so i feel like yeah this person is definitely doing mirror magic now what is going to happen to them as far as the negative ramification um, with the scorpio energy here we have the king of cups so i feel like they're going to get some attention um but it's not going to be good attention they're going to attract someone who has very uh stalker obsessive type of tendencies vibration um very controlling um it's interesting because they're going to attract someone just like them but in a very low type of energy with this king of cups energy so they may attract someone who is a scorpio someone who has significant scorpio placements or someone who is just uh matching their damn energy they're gonna they're gonna attract the very thing that they've been doing to you so this definitely is someone who's been like stalking uh obsessing over you um yeah whatever this is it, it feels creepy and i feel like they're going to be met with that energy and, and if this is not a love interest which it strongly feels like this is who they're going to attract into them for wanting so damn bad to look like you and be like you um i definitely just feel like they're just going to attract some type of 
individual into their life or individuals who have very obsessive um stalkerish um harassing type of energies because this is what they've been doing to you if you've been dealing with a uh, karmic Sagittarius energy who's been negatively impacting your love and romance life, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this individual has been negatively affecting your finances. Now, this is letting me know that this individual either works in your industry, they work in the industry of your love interest or your potential love interest, or this is someone who just wants to fucking do what you do or they're mad or they're jealous about what you do. Five, five, five on the clock. Um, so I feel like with this individual, they're negatively trying to sabotage your finances because maybe the individual who has interest in you um loves what you do for work or they want to work with you or they have some type of interest in investing with you so this would be their way of sabotaging your work so that this person does not come towards you um this also could be someone who actually is interested in you themselves but they're intimidated and they're jealous of you because of what you do or the type of money that you make or some shit like that so they could be trying to sabotage you to make themselves feel better um maybe to feel like they'll have a chance but I'm just seeing, yeah, someone trying to sabotage your work, your money, your finances, your career. So it could even be an instance where, like, let's say, for instance, whatever you do, their love interest that they're with, like, admires you. Or wants to work with you or do business with you. And then this person feels intimidated. They feel jealous because their love interest likes what you do or they have some type of interest in wanting to work with you or some shit like that so this is this is someone who you know wants to sabotage your work because they're mad they're jealous either because they can't do what you do or because the fact that their love interest is fucking like a, an admirer of yours what this person is going to be met with with this karmic uh, Sagittarius energy is the Ten of Wands I feel like this person is going to suffer health ailments um, I feel like something's going to become um, overwhelming for them this definitely could be someone getting released and let go from a job um, this definitely could be a situation where this person is going to have overwhelming amount of debt um, is what I'm seeing and they're going to have more uh, debt liability than they, they have income because this is what this person has been trying to negatively impact with you to fuck up your love life this def I'm just definitely getting a big jealous energy here so either way either this p person wants you or someone who they know wants you or the person that they're with wants you so that's why they're trying to fuck up your finances um, if you're dealing with the karmic Capricorn energy um, we have the king of swords coming up so this person could be someone who's always uh, comparing themselves to you being very j harsh harshly critical harshly judgmental towards you um, in your love life um, this could be someone who gives you the wrong advice or it gives someone who is interested in you the wrong advice this could be someone who tells people not to fuck with you you know what i'm saying um this could be someone who wants people to choose them over you so they're constantly trying to outshine you and thinking that they're making you look bad by talking down on you um so other people are not interested in you and what's going to happen to them we have the lover's energy so i feel like what's going to happen is essentially this could be someone whose love interest um or potential love interest who they have interest in is uh attracted to you so this could be someone where um their love interest wants to be with you and this, this love interest may leave them to come towards you and approach you is what i'm seeing um but even if their love interest is not interested in you and this is just a random ass person that's just jealous of you um or you're not interested in the love interest so it, i mean it doesn't really matter if the love interest is interest, interested in you if you're not interested in the love interest is back in their love interest back um i feel like the love interest is, is just the type of person who doesn't keep their eyes focused on them anyway so whether they have an interest in you or not i feel like whoever the fuck they're dealing with has interest in multiple people anyways so even if this person feels some type of way about um somebody who wants to come towards you that's with them or somebody who wants to come towards you that may be an ex of theirs or someone who they're sleeping with or some shit like that i feel like whoever they're dealing with likes multiple people anyways they don't just have their eyes on them like the, whoever the fuck they're with is not monogamous anyway so the person ain't gonna never settle down and want to be with them but for whatever reason they're choosing to target you and try to compare themselves to you so whatever um if you are dealing with a karmic aquarius energy we have the queen of swords energy coming up so this uh 
Aquarius energy could be an ex of this Capricorn. This could be the person that's in a relationship with this Capricorn. This could be a family member or an associate of this damn Capricorn. Um, but I think that's very interesting that both of these cards came out back to back. So it's like a whole damn pair right here watching you, spying on you, talking shit about you. They could be talking shit about you together. Or these could be people having conversations about you separately to other individuals about you. It could be a whole couple living in the same house one likes you one doesn't like you type of shit maybe this queen of swords acts like they like you when they're not around this capricorn or vice versa type shit um but they're steadily both watching you and speaking weird and negatively about you to other people so people don't have an interest in you is what i'm seeing with this queen of swords energy this is a very uh prejudiced judgmental energy always talking negatively about someone else someone who's not satisfied with their life um someone who thinks that they have a right to criticize and critique other people um but this is probably the type of person who you know let you say something about them and they get hella defensive you know what i'm saying let you critique their partner or say something about their partner and they can't handle that but they always got something to say about someone else's relationship or who they have interest in so this is what i'm seeing someone always talking shit always got your name in their mouth and i'm seeing what's going to happen with them with the eight of wands i feel like whatever this is this this may get back to you all i mean you're going to learn of the shit that this person has been saying about you so this definitely could be someone who smiles in your face and act like they have your best interest at heart um but then behind your back they're definitely talking shit about you to other people because i'm seeing this what's going to happen is it's going to get back to you um i'm also seeing the shit that they say is going to come back on them and it's going to happen really quickly so it's like whatever that they're speaking over you this also could be someone just like that taurus energy who's wishing negatively on your relationship and stuff like that um wishing for you to never get married wishing for you to never move on this could be an ex of some of y'all's um a bitter scorn jealous ex um that you've moved on that you don't talk to this individual always bringing your name up in conversation no one even thinks about you this person's always thinking about you always got you on their mind but they try to act like they don't like you type shit um but i'm seeing if this person is in a relationship then they probably got left or they got divorced because the same shit that they were putting out there about you has happened to them um i'm also seeing some type of truth is going to come out about this individual that they've been lying about um so this could be another individual who's been lying slandering gossiping about you and some type of truth is going to come out about this person and then if you're dealing with a pisces individual who is car who is a karmic who's negatively trying to impact your love and romance life i'm seeing this six of pentacles here this could be a pisces who is like it's giving me mixy type of energy this is someone who's who doesn't mind playing like um a mistress type of energy this is someone who doesn't mind like interfering and intervening in relationships so so this could be someone who intervened in a connection that you had and slept with your partner um or this could be someone trying to um come in between you and someone coming into contacts with each other this could be sexually or this person could be trying to financially bribe someone um like a sugar daddy sugar mama type of energy so that someone doesn't come towards you um that's what i'm seeing but i'm definitely seeing some type of intervening meddling energy so this person is constantly trying to put themselves in the middle between two individuals and keep two people separate but i feel like they're they're using like tactics to do this so this definitely could be someone who's either using sex to keep someone distracted um and not interested in you or this is someone who's using their money to try to like bribe someone to stay with them and what they're going to be met with is we have the ace of wands so this definitely is i'm seeing negative um sexual health and wellness uh, negative impacts and implications to whoever the whoever this is this definitely could be someone getting pregnant from a one-night stand with someone who they don't want to be with because there's definitely also uh what is that called what is that called it's like thirsty energy here is what i'm getting desperate there's desperate energy here so they could def definitely end up you know having some type of negative sexual health and wellness um implication or getting pregnant by someone from like a one night stand trying to be thirsty in a situation that has nothing to even do with you and your love interest or the person coming towards you um but yeah so those are the energies that i see now let's go ahead and hop into the soulmate love reading. okay so getting into the reading we're taking a look at person a person b so person a is the left side person b is the right side 
um, take whichever side resonates with you sometimes I've noticed that the energies can't go back and forth so just apply the situations um, as it may apply to you or just take the messages as they may um, apply or resonate to you okay so for person a the headspace around love and romance we have the ten of source energy so what I was picking up was for those of you resonating with this energy this is the energy of you finally being done and over with something this could have been a situation where you felt like you were dragged to the pits of hell and back okay this finally could be just being done and over with a relationship for some of you like things being finalized it's done it's over you've walked away you know things are officially done you know this person no longer is um has their things at your home or you no longer you know have to associate or um arrange you know needing to speak with this individual for getting your things back and stuff like that or whatever this may be even if it has to do with legal situations for others of you this could just be a situation where you finally just like the weight has been lifted off of you um after a, such a long period of time from some type of catastrophic or traumatic experience that you may deem as that um which you experienced with the previous relationship or several relationships for others of you this is just you know moving away from toxic environments energies and people okay so this is going to positively impact your love and romance life for those of you resonating with person b side we have the ten of pentacles energies so i'm definitely seeing for some of you some of you are definitely in relationships still very much in committed relationships um others of you this definitely could just be an energy and a vibration where you you know you're um just being surrounded with family um and leaning on the support of your family around this time and others of you very much have commitment monogamy and um settling down on your brain when it comes to love and romance okay now as far as person a how you are viewing person B we have the nine of wands so once again um, we have this energy of just being skeptical okay now for some of you this energy is skepticism because this person um, person B who you're interested in or who may be coming towards you may be in a commitment still so this could be you keeping your guards up um, and your boundaries up um, energetically because someone is not actually available to come towards you they're not single others of you this could be a situation where you're just kind of guarded and very protective of yourself because like I said you've just recently been freed and released from some type of burdensome situation that has been weighing you down whether it was an actual relationship that you finally got out of uh, and it's officially done and over with or whether it was just like I said other people places and things and experiences that have just been um, very oppressive to you that you've been dealing with so now it's just like you're getting a sigh of relief and you're very protective about just letting anyone come into your space regardless if it's love and romance or not so for some of you I feel like that is how you're viewing this love interest you're, you're just kind of got your protective barriers and your guards up because you're just being extra careful okay um, I feel like those of you who resonate with the person a energy you're very particular about who you let in your energetic field is what i'm getting okay you're very selective um some of you could be very high maintenance as well too um but i'm definitely getting a very um i'm, I'm hearing bougie some of you could be bougie but i'm getting a very um a selective and protective energy when it comes to who you allow in your space and who you allow in your like auric field okay um also um because some of you have just recently got out of a relationship or you're just like really coming into your own and finally feeling comfortable and embracing you know being in the clear of crappy energy that has been surrounding you for a really long time with this individual being in the head space of the ten of pentacles for those who want a serious monogamous relationship with commitment on the brain this could be someone coming towards you in that energy and you could be kind of like got your guards up because it's like you don't know if you're ready to like settle down and it kind of seems like that's that's a really big commitment that this person is coming towards you with so some of you could kind of be a little bit like hold on like slow down you moving fast you know what i mean now as far as how person b is viewing person 
a we have the lovely three of cups so what this is letting me know is that person b really is looking at person a as someone who has lovely energy this is someone who person b sees as someone who is very complimentary this could be someone who's um you view this person as being fun someone you could see this person as being like the life of the party um but i just feel like it's someone who you love and enjoy being around you also could see this person fitting in maybe very well with your friends your uh groups that you associate with or your family um so you could see this person as being someone who would get along perfectly with your um with those who you surround yourself with often now the interesting thing is with the nine of wands for person a and the three of cups for person b i'm actually seeing it that maybe for those of you who resonate with person a you're more introverted and those of you who resonate with person b side you could definitely be more um i'm hearing extremely like extroverted so even if you all don't look at yourselves in these manners i feel like i guess in regards to the dynamic between you uh, person A and person B this is how the two of you come off towards each other okay now as far as what is blocking these connections for person A we have the two of wands so the two of wands I really feel like it's just the energy of someone really needing and trying to figure out like do they compromise or do they not compromise like i said once again person a is really just stepping into uh, a ownership energy and really starting to um i feel like either person a has really got comfortable with being single and doing things by themselves not to say that person a doesn't want love but i just feel like person a could have been single for a certain amount of time or they're just really comfortable with being single because they they you know they were in a relationship that they were in for so long and it's like they're they're just starting to embrace that and i feel like almost just as just as soon as they start to embrace and get comfortable with being single here comes you person b into their life and now this is putting them in some type of position where they have to feel like they have to compromise again where they were just getting so used to being able to be single make choices by themselves not have to essentially consider anyone else but like i said it's not to say that they don't want love because they do want love i just feel like now it's just another measure that they have to consider like okay now i i'm putting in, they're being put into a position where they have to like decide do they compromise or do they not compromise you know or how much should they compromise or should they just not compromise and continue to focus on their own sense of independence and doing what they want to do and then as far as what is blocking person b we have the king of wands so the interesting energy about this is for some of y'all person b this king of wands person is person a's x okay so this x of person a is going to try to make it very difficult for you for whatever reason and this person may even try to reach out and contact you or some shit like that so just be mindful be aware of that and be cautious because that's what i'm getting this person has a very like slimy type of energy that i'm getting like a slime ball sleazy type of energy um with this king of wands energy and yeah it's like they have their eyes whoever the fuck this is they have their eyes on what you want and they want that for themselves so for some of you person b whoever's blocking you could be very well be for a lot of y'all person a's x for others of y'all and i feel this is a small group of y'all whoever this king of wands energy is this person could be a family member of yours person b or a friend of yours or someone who you associate with and they may have either always had their eyes on person b okay or they tried to get with person uh, i'm sorry they may have always had their eyes on person a or they tried to get with person a and person a curved them okay and then for others of y'all this is straight up a family member or friend who wants person a for themselves and they are going to definitely try to make a pass at this person they are definitely going to try to get with this person and you know exactly who this person is because i feel this person is either known for doing this um to other people they've done this to you before 
but I feel like with this king of wands energy they don't hide this so you're going to know exactly who this person is in your life and then going back to person A side with the blocking you I just feel like there's several different decisions that you need to make for some of you like I said this is um deciding what's the next step to take and is it the next is, is the next step that is being propositioned in your best interest for some of you this could be person b asking you to come live with them for some of you person b has a whole tribe that they are already um established with so this could be someone who already has like a family they already have a ready-made family and for some of you in person a position you know you're kind of at a standstill because you need to make a, a decision like are you ready to step up and play that role or play the position that this person b is asking you to step stepping in being a wife or being a husband or being um you know like um a, a parental role figure you know what i mean um, or even blending your families for some of you if that's the case um, but I'm definitely seeing that type of energy as well too for others of you you're having to decide if you want to associate yourself with person B because it feels very much like for some of you um, person B is very intertwined business wise and um, just personally wise with their family and their friends and this person seems to have all of this kind of intermingled it doesn't really seem to be boundaries um, that person B has really set and established with these people so I feel like with you person A having very like blatant and overt um, firm boundaries this may be something that you, you know you're kind of needing to assess and look at like do you want to be involved with this type of energy and family dynamic because you seem to be someone who's very setting your ways and just very firm about your privacy and your boundaries and i don't feel like I, I don't feel like on person b side like that they really have like set boundaries and provisions like that especially with their family and their friends i feel like you know it's it's close it's close knit but i feel like it's a lot that's kind of intermingled over there okay and then for others of you it just really could be a sense of um trying to figure out other parameters of the next step in the relationship as far as the seriousness and how fast the relationship should go and things of that nature now as far as what actions the two of you want to take we have the king of swords on person a side and the justice card on uh which is number 11 on person b side so i feel like person a's energy is in the energy of wanting to spit facts person a is going to speak facts they're going to speak honestly bluntly truthfully and they're going to speak some facts now person b what you do with this information and this conversation um that the two of you have is is very crucial because you have the ability to you know rectify some type of justice and balance in this situation and i feel like it's going to be up to you what occurs next how this relationship goes but i see you being in some type of major position where you're needing to make some type of uh decision and take some type of action after this decision is made so i see the two of you having some type of major serious conversation that the two of you need to have um in regards to i feel like personal matters between the two of you um that are very necessary for the two of you having especially with when when it talks about enmeshing you know two different worlds two different families and things of that nature um but i, I definitely feel like person a is going to bring something to light make you aware of some things and it's going to be up to you like i said it's, it's kind of like person a is going to say something speak the truth let you know where they stand and then you have you know the ability to rebuttal and say what you need to say but I, f I definitely feel like it's going to be down to you person b to take some type of ne necessary like um, measures in this situation with the justice because you seem to be holding that type of power over here to um or or being put in this position to need to take some type of action in regards to whatever the two of you discuss after whatever is spoken made clear and pointed out in regards to this situation that needs to be pointed out and spoken um so i'm hearing clear the air so there definitely could, could be some things between the two of you that needs to be cleared okay now as far as the outcome between the two of you we have the four of wands so i do see um this is this is a positive outcome 
that could occur between the two of you if you take the necessary actions um, as this spread is suggesting that you all may be leading, leaning towards taking the four of wands leads to a very happy outcome between the two of you where you're finding a nice middle ground and balance and getting on the same page this is the perfect sense of uh, balance and uh, compromise as well too I'm also getting a situation where someone's not gonna get invited to the house to the party or to the event so either someone's not getting invited or someone has to get uninvited and that might very well be this justice energy over here a uh, person be that you're gonna have to be the one to like announce that or make that call or something like that okay because it might have to do with somebody who was associated with you but I'm definitely getting yeah someone either cannot continue to come over to the house someone is not welcome in the home or someone can't come to the party or to the event or someone has to get uninvited from one of those things but i definitely see um some type of happy middle ground balance um compromise that the two of you come together with and i see the two of you actually being happy and very settled in with what you all decide to do okay so that's pretty much all the energies if you would like to book a personal private uh, session with me like i said you can go to my website www.divinelotustarot.com don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel